So I don't know what the heck just happened, but apparently Treyarch just announced the next map and confirmed the name being Firebase C. So what we're going to do is just go over here and uh, see what in the heck's going on. Let's uh, jump over here to see what's going on. So this is the tweet. Uh, Treyer, or it says the Dark Ether story continues in season one. Firebase C, so the rumor name is true. Um, arrives February 4th, free for all players. So it is true, all our maps are free in this season. Official map announcement. This is what we're going to look at, but real quick. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. If you guys watched my video from yesterday, you would know that this is probably what we were talking about. This is probably going to be the mini boss, but this is what we mentioned about what Dr. William Peck was working on. It's probably that. That's what this is right here. Uh, but, uh, you know, other stuff can't really make out the backgrounds kind of blurry. Zombies are Soviets, it seems, unlike in the previous map. Yeah, they have the Omega symbol on their chest. So, unlike the previous map where they were a bunch of. Uh, Germans, let's say that uh, we're going to instead be fighting against some uh, zombies. I mean, this is we're not going to be, yeah, they're going to be Russian, which kind of makes sense, I guess. Either way, let's see what this is about. I literally haven't seen this yet, haven't read this. The Dark Ether story, story continues. Just when you thought the next chapter of the Dark Ether story was coming in season two, we've got a hell of a surprise for zombies fans. Today, we're unveiling the launch date for the next Call of Duty Black Ops Call of Duty Warzone zombies map or yeah, zombies map. Firebase C will arrive during season one on February fourth yo that's actually early i just realized dude wait the map's actually dropping early yo let's go with the destruction of the world war ii era project and station site after an investigation other were under otherworldly dark ether anomalies in poland requiem now sets its focus on the latest dark ether outbreak site outpost 25 known as codename firebase c we've got plenty more in the story that we can't wait to share in the coming weeks so stay tuned for more details let's go dude let's go intel coming day one 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 five days so that's in that's tomorrow. That's literally tomorrow. Dude, I don't know why I looked over there. I have a date right here in my bottom right. But either way, uh, what's it called? Uh, Intel coming on. Yeah, we already that. Um, in addition to today's uh, launch of Zombies Free Access Week, the new cranked mode. Oh, yeah, I forgot that's happening today. Onslaught Raid. Uh, raid? Wait, Onslaught Raid? Oh, yeah, because of the Onslaught. Okay, anyways. And the support for the new Wakazaki. Wakasaki? Um, sword and zombies. We're celebrating 115 day tomorrow on Friday, January 5th, with a new Firebase Z details plus additional updates to expect when the map launches. In the meantime, keep an eye out for the intel out there. Whoa, what is this, dude? Oh, it's a teleporter. Wait, what? Yo, we are getting teleporters again. That's insane. Because if you guys remember, the uh, what, what actually caused the uh, universe to break and get multi and made the multiverse and everything was time travel and the teleporters that's what i mean i mean the teleporters were time travel in the original ether storyline so does this mean we're already going to introduce time travel multiverse or are they going to rewrite that they don't have to do that but if you go by logic of the previous story that's how that worked but it says m um new omega teleportation system connects village to the omega facility oh oh so this map so a lot of people were saying the map looked really small in the new image or the uh, overlook of it which was just the facility but it looks like we're going to have two areas of the map entirely the new omega teleportation system connects the village to the facility so we can't we're going to be able to play in the village and the facility so that's actually huge dude that's huge because a lot of people including myself thought the map looked kind of small but I guess I guess that's it, dude. That is it, yo. This image be looking fine though. We got. Let's see. Can we open this image? No, it's gonna mess. Um, I don't know. It's only us. Can we open this image at least? Okay, I guess to just let us down. Let's just open the image in new tab. Why, why can't I open it? Whatever. We'll just just click on it like this. But look at that, dude. So this is like I said. This is actually huge. Can I not zoom in this much? So this is actually huge. This teleporter is so huge. Like I've mentioned, because it is what caused the universe to be broken apart in the previous universe. So, or in the ether universe or multiverse, whatever you want to call it. And this is like what they were trying to stop. But now that they're back in, it re leaves so much possibilities. This leads so much possibilities to enter into the dark ether, to do just like so many different things now. So that is insane on its own but also it does confirm that the map is actually bigger also yesterday i didn't know there was more intel that dropped on facebook and instagram because the instagram one just because i missed it and facebook i literally didn't know till today but regardless uh this is much more interesting this is the biggest thing that we've seen so far because this is again just 
you know, like I already mentioned, it could potentially bring the multiverse back into this or time travel into this. Maybe not. It could just be normal teleporters. And maybe in this universe, there is no time travel. There's only teleporting, which would be fine. You know, that's that's all cool. Uh, but regardless, I mean, this still is going to be pretty big. I'm sure there's going to be some story implications for this. Again, we have M for Samantha Maxis and R, which again, people are, some people are very sure that's her tough and other people not too sure. That is myself included and not too sure. Uh, but regardless, it is pretty sick to see this stuff all nonetheless, dude. So what we could gather from everything we just got here today, I know this video is kind of fast because I just wanted to rush through this, but let's uh, let's think about this. So right here, we have probably our new boss zombie. This is a creature from the Dark Ether. If you guys watched my video from yesterday, if you guys haven't, I'll link it on screen right now. Uh, hopefully I'll remember to do that, but uh, it'll be linked sometime during the video for sure, just maybe not right now. But either way, this is a uh, what this was just for, for the people who didn't don't want to go back and click and watch the entire video. Uh, this is actually one of a, a creature captured from the dark ether this was brought to from the dark ether to uh, to the i guess normal universe i don't know what they like to call it they brought it over and then dr william peck who runs who's a lead at omega group who runs the facility at uh you know the firebase c facility he did experiments on it which this looks like what this is turning into so that's what that is and um of course, the other thing is this teleporter that we've already spent more than enough time talking about, but regardless, it is interesting. Another thing just for not game or directly in the game or story related stuff is just that tomorrow we're probably going to get something big because obviously Intel coming on day 115, which is tomorrow, of course, because Americans, we write our calendars the right way by putting uh, the month and then the day and then the year. So 115, so it's uh, January 15th. So there we go, 115 day, which which is uh, of course going to be tomorrow I keep making sure which is going to be great because we're going to see more details um, and updates to expect when the map launches uh, but yeah so I guess we're going to see I imagine tomorrow rather than getting a reveal trailer or the intro cutscene I kind of want the intro cutscene more because I'm more interested in the story currently because I right now I know a ton of the story I have literally had the entire story of uh, everything that happened up until the end of the machine which is a lot that I don't think a lot of people have I have a recording of that but I haven't actually released that yet because I don't know how many people are interested in the story which uh, actually I'm just lazy but you know what I made the excuse in my head that I don't know how many people are actually interested in that but regardless anyways um Another huge thing is that uh, they did say that we're, they're going to get more to share in the weeks to come. So tomorrow's not going to be the only thing that they're going to be revealing for us. They're also going to be, you know, slowly dropping stuff as it goes on. But then also we got a direct release date, dude. Some because some news is too good to wait till one one five day. Yo, facts though. I didn't see that first. But uh, the other thing is that the actual date is February fourth, which today is the fourteenth. Can I pull up a calendar here? Oh, we can oh yeah you guys see this too so that's uh the fourth so it's one two three weeks from now only three weeks so tomorrow we'll probably get some uh the reveal trailer if i had to guess then it's probably somewhere along the way we'll also get a uh, intro cutscene which is well, i've always wanted them to do but sometimes they just don't release the intro cutscene which is kind of cringe which i don't get just release the intro cutscene it's fun to look at it like gives us more time to talk about it and lead up to the actual map because when the map actually comes out we ain't going to be talking about the intro cutscene so might as well you know, give us this now also it's really important for this story specifically because it's very early on and a lot of people aren't very interested so you have to build that you know interest into the story so i think that's something they should really really do which i'm sure they'll do this time around because they learned their lesson from uh, black ops 4 and i don't know why they had to relearn the lesson they already figured out in black ops 3 but regardless that's not really the point either way we are getting this map in three weeks and on top of that we're probably getting a reveal trailer and probably going to get the intro cutscene sometime in between that tomorrow's probably going to be one of the two and you know that uh, on the other hand up until that i'll probably get dark ether on these swords because i literally have dark ether on every D dlc gun already too so i'll probably do that and maybe, maybe make a video about that i don't know uh, we'll continue to talk about the story maybe i'll actually edit and release my uh, storyline explained video for everything that's happened until i'll probably name it till everything that's happened till dlc one because that's going to be something but regardless this is looking sick dude this image right here beautiful stuff we do know the map that is, well actually let's open up this image real quick let's show you guys because we know that the map isn't just going to be this area right here this is the image we got day one which people were thinking like okay this map is pretty small right but uh we do know after 
you know, looking at another image that I just can't click on right now because I did not save to the credit. Did I? No, I don't think I, I saved to the wrong place. But this image right here, it literally says the teleportation system connects the village to the Omega facility. So this map is probably going to be bigger. I'm excited to see what it's about because I know that Treyarch likes to drop their bangers for DLC 1. Um, it, with the exceptions of Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 2, they released Die Rise and uh, Dead of the Night. But, you know, at least for Black Ops 3. So maybe that's the only time they'll release a banger for Black Ops, for DLC 1. But, yeah, hopefully that's what they're doing here. Hopefully they save their best for the first one because I always think that's the best idea. Wait, now it's laying? Oh, no, we were always able to do that. I saved it again. Either way, guys, uh, that's about it for this video, dude. I'm hyped, dude. You know, tomorrow I'm probably going to be streaming in case uh, in case it is being a reveal. I'll do a live stream reaction. And if not, if I'm not sure what time to start streaming, I'll probably just release a video of my reaction, then a breakdown there soon after. We might actually do that. Sorry, hit the mic. But anyways, I'm pretty hyped because we need some zombies content. And to see that we're getting it slightly early because um, I think there's like 40 days still left in uh, season two or season one, excuse me, which would uh, leave us like how much is for this? Uh, seven. Uh, this is 28. Holy crap, we were going to have to wait a long time. Thank goodness. Thank goodness we're getting this early, dude. Dude, instead of waiting 40 days, we're going to only have to wait two or three weeks, excuse me, which is only like 21 days. So we got that time cut in half, homeboy. Let's go, dude. Let's go. So I'm excited. Hopefully, you guys are excited. Uh, I can't wait for tomorrow to see what that is. I can't wait to see more intel as we get closer to the release date of this. And also, I'll probably just release that storyline explain video and just name it like. Uh, everything uh, or the dark ether story up until dlc one so people can get caught up on what's going on in the story because i don't think many people are currently familiar with the story so i'm actually excited i'm motivated to make zombies videos again because my gosh i didn't know what to do after i got dark ether uh but anyways that's about it for me if you guys did enjoy this video and you guys are hyped for cold war zombies dlc one firebase z then definitely do all that normal youtube stuff like subscribe bell share and all that great stuff but i'm gonna go i'll catch you guys in the next stream video where that can maybe and laters guys